She was looking for love but found a con artist instead. A Colorado woman was scammed out of tens of thousands of dollars by a man she met through an online dating site. Tonight, Tom Mustin in Highlands Ranch with a story you'll see only on CBS4. Tom? And Jim, this is simply an unbelievable story. We're talking about a smart, educated woman who runs her own business, and even she says she has a hard time believing she fell for the scam. And we're talking about a $50,000 scam in which she was simply blinded by love for a man who never existed. I believed everything he said. Jackie is still in shock. I really feel like I had a relationship with this guy. The Highlands Ranch woman didn't want to reveal her identity after a smooth-talking scam artist charmed her out of more than $50,000. When it comes to love, is that we don't always think straight. Last July, Jackie met George Taylor after joining Our Time, a legitimate online dating site for people 50 and older. George said he was an engineer from Lakewood. Pictures? love letters and phone calls ensued. We were telling each other we loved each other. He talked to my granddaughter. He said, I love your grandma. I hope I can meet you someday. After three weeks of conversation, George suddenly claimed he had to go to Asia for a building project. After a few months, George started asking Jackie for money to keep the project going. 10,000 here and another 20,000 because it was a big project in Asia. He was believable and he always promised me that he was coming back to Colorado. He couldn't wait to see me and that he would pay me back. Against her friend's wishes, Jackie sent more than $50,000 to George. In December, George sent Jackie a bogus check for $70,000, then disappeared. It was really a hard lesson to learn. Now, heartbroken and embarrassed, Jackie is hoping others will learn from her mistakes. You want to meet somebody, they're going to play on your emotions, and there's a lot of scams out there, and really be careful. Now, Jackie says she talked to the FBI and the Douglas County Sheriff's Office. Both say George Taylor never existed, and they're not sure who this man was in the picture. Meanwhile, Jackie says she's learned a $50,000 lesson. We're live at Highlands Ranch tonight. Tom Mustin, CBS 4 News.